Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Hey, if you guys out there are Mac users or Mac owners, and you are interested in running Windows-based programs on your Macintosh, I'm sure you realize there's a lot of not a lot of options out there in the marketplace. Now, with every new Mac comes a program called Boot Camp. Boot Camp allows you to boot your computer up either in Windows are in Macintosh uh, operating systems. Now if you boot it up in Windows then obviously you can run Windows based programs. Today what I want to talk about is a program that I found is pretty decent with doing that. What it does is it creates a virtual machine on your computer like another computer on your Macintosh. A virtual world if you will which allows you to switch operating systems in a sense but you're still on the same machine now that program is called parallels what I'm gonna do is just very very briefly go over some of the uh, key highlights within this program I'm not gonna talk about everything because that would take uh, quite some time now the first thing is when you open parallels it's gonna take a little while just to boot up because you got to realize what it's doing it's creating a virtual desktop if you will another key thing before I click on it on parallels you have to have an operating system first that means you have to go out and buy Windows 7 or Vista or XP and install it on your Macintosh before you can even run this don't think you can just go out and buy parallels and then you know start running it you have to have an existing uh, operating system okay so I, I've already launched parallels desktop but this is what it look looks like as you can see it's, it's pretty nice interface here everything here that's on a desktop is also on my Mac desktop remember I'm running kind of a virtual world here if you go down and click the start menu or the little Windows icon, it looks exactly like it does on a Windows based computer. You have all your your different various different um, different things over here. You have administrative documents, pictures, music, games, computer, control panel, devices, default programs, help and support. You have your shutdown features and that's exactly like it is in Windows in essence you're just running Windows on a Mac now if you go to some of the preferences let me just mention when you when you go into the preferences you can allocate how much resources you want your computer to use for parallels as well as for the Macintosh operating systems now if you allocate too too many of your resources geared towards parallels then it's gonna make your computer runs slower because what it's doing is in a sense it's paying more attention to, to the parallels desktop ie windows than it is to your complete system your Macintosh so if you go to let's just look at preferences really quick here on parallels desktop and I'll show you what some of the things you can do with this you got general you got appearance how it looks keyboard and mouse I mean it's just a ton of things you can do with it the USB how how it's uh, detected memory this right here set the total memory allocated to parallel desktop and virtual machines what I just talked about security you can create several virtual machines also you got speech you got uh, you can do this for iPhone as well then update and you got uh, feedback so that's just um, what was in the preferences uh, when you're talking about Windows, uh, or excuse me, when you talk about Parallels. Now let's look at uh, look at the bottom here, the bottom of the screen. If you just go to the bottom, it's basically the same things as that are uh, in the uh, up here in the preferences let's just click on keyboard shortcuts you got USB you got uh, 
your CD DVD player you got your network you got your disk you got your printer connections you got your volume and so forth and so on now one thing about this program is that it will slow down your Macintosh operating system what I'm what I mean is if you go back and forth from this virtual machine and you launch let's say Safari at times it's gonna lag and it's gonna be slower because your computer is now using resources for parallels just keep that in mind so overall I say that the parallels desktop is definitely worth it if you run quite a few windows based programs if you don't do if you don't do that many run that many programs then you could probably stick with boot camp and that may work for you but with me I run some business applications that are only windows based that I need to do so I'll uh, you know I flip over to the virtual machine it's very good because you can use both machines or both operating systems at once the price is nice at seventy nine ninety nine the only issue I have is that it it makes that Mac OS operating system run slower when you're trying to work on both operating systems so again this parallel desktop I give it a thumbs up at seventy nine ninety nine if you guys have any questions or if you have uh, any comments about you know uh, Parallels desktop or if you're using it and you think it's a piece of crap then leave me a comment thanks a lot for watching my video guys it's been my pleasure take care